Okay, hello YouTube. It's been about six or seven months now since I lit the stove last. And uh, to be honest, it's been very, very good when I did have it working. And uh, the weather was warm, so I was doing other things during the summer. But I'm back now in the shed and it, it's cold and um, I need a bit of heat. So, this is, um, as I say, six or seven months since this was lit last. And uh, just to show how reliable it is and how simple it is, really. I mean, I just blow, have a fan blowing down a pipe and I'm dripping air down another, or dripping uh, oil down another pipe and uh, igniting it. And, and that's it. Uh, the, the tank, this thing, that's just a propane tank, an old discarded broken uh, propane tank. I uh, put two doors in it and uh, on previous videos I've done, um, I show how I did that. Um, the oil burner um, set up in it, I've shown how I did that as well. So, But I will run through it. When I light this thing, uh, there'll be a bit more light inside the stove and because um, it's getting on for dark here now this evening. So I'm going to light it. It's just uh, a drop of kerosene and just to make sure it lights I'm going to throw all that in but it doesn't necessarily uh, need this or that amount but I'm not taking any chances or prisoners. So I just drop the kerosene into the, uh, the vaporizing pot and I'm going to ignite it and then I'm going to add the air and uh, I'll show that now. Um, so I've got a turbo torch um, and I'm just going to ignite the, the kerosene. Essentially that pot wants to be red hot um, when I add the oil. So that's just the kerosene burning away. Nothing nothing um you know nothing amazing. And I don't know if you can see it. <laughs> I gotta burn my camera. So anyway, there you go. Um, vaporizing pot doing its business. Um, I'm going to add oil to this in a minute and uh that's just waste vegetable oil in there at the moment. Really black, horrible stuff. Um, so let's do this. Right, I'm going to close the top door just to keep the smoke in the stove. Now I'm going to add air. I've got a fan. I'm going to uh, plug it in. Here we go. Okay, so that's the fan and the kerosene. And now I'm going to add some oil. <laughs> Okay, that's the veggie oil going in there now. Okay, so it's barely roaring. I have the door open on it so you can see what's going on. The pot is red hot and um, you can see, oh, I don't know what you can see, it's very bright in there. Um, but anyway, it's an aggressive burn and uh, I'm not sure if you can see some smoke coming off that. I just used some uh, high temperature silicone to, to uh, stick the rubber on the or not the rubber, but the sticky, you know, the uh, the fiberglass rope, the seal, to hold that on, and it's uh, the high temp silicone is burning away. So anyway, that's what I've got. Nice little burn, and uh, it's dark out now. I'm not sure what what we'll see. Um, but I'm looking up at the chimney stack there, and there's no smoke, zero smoke. That's lovely. That's really nice. So, nice clean burn. Um, and I can really feel the heat when I come in. It's great. Now I've had all this working before and um, let's see if I can do this. I'll just show the, the, uh, the oil that's going into it. I've got to turn that down a bit. Now I was asked if I turned the uh, the fan off when it was burning, what would happen? So, just for the fun of it. Okay, so that's the fan switched off, and uh, and this is what happens. We have oil going in and a dirty burn. It's gone smoky. It's not burning clean, and uh, I'm sure if I go out and have a look at the chimney. There'll be smoke. Now there's good heat off it because everything got red hot, but that would just eventually cool down. So let's plug this back in. Okay. 
and you can see the color difference straight away on, on the um, on the flame. It's not dark yellow, it's bright yellow. So there you go. And anybody thinking of doing it, a uh, great project. I've I've uh, I've had lots of correspondence, you know, people asking for advice and so on. And uh, I'm very happy to, to help any way I can. Um, you know, but you gotta use common sense with this stuff. This stuff, if you put it in your house, you know, one of these burners. Uh, yeah, I don't know, I wouldn't do it anyway, you know. I'm not saying you couldn't do it, but personally, no, I wouldn't. But it's, um, it's a great little project, great way of heating your shed. Um, that blower just doesn't produce enough air to, for that flame. Um, so I have to add a little bit of air by cracking the door open. If I, if I close the door dead tight, I get a bit of, um, you know, a little bit of smoke. But as is, no smoke outside whatsoever, nothing. So I'm not annoying the neighbours. Somebody uh, was asking me about smells and smoke and the whole lot. Um, no. The barn is very, very clean. There you go, YouTube. One waste oil burner, burning um, vegetable oil. I didn't even clean it. Down that half inch pipe and into the burner. Um, the oil comes down that half inch one, the air feed comes in on the bottom. And uh, I do a pipe and pipe thing. So the oil is in a pipe all the way into the bottom of the, the stove where it drips into the pot and the air blows out the sides down near the bottom. And uh, you can see it, it's just a fan on the go, that's it. And the heat out of it, I can redden the, the entire propane tank if I want. Um, but I have plenty of heat out of that. As for noise, if I, um, if I put a bigger fan on it, I don't need the door open. It points down considerably if I close the door. But you know, this is a shed, I have the stereo going, the radio going or whatever, you know. And uh, it's great. So that's just really what I did last year. There's nothing new in this. I'm just showing that it still works great. Uh, great little project. There's my chimney. People asked about the chimney. That's just old stuff I had lying around. This is a bit of flexi flu. Um, that's just a 45 stainless steel elbow going into the back of the stuff, into the back of the um, the propane tank, and it's radiating great heat even to me where I am now, which is. Yeah, savage heat out of this thing. This thing is amazing. For such a simple setup, you know, if you can keep the tubes uh, unblocked, you know, if you filter your oil and stuff and put it in, um, it will just keep going. Just keep feeding it oil. Uh, everybody asks me how much oil it uses an hour. Um, at its current rate, I would say probably two to three liters an hour at that rate. So, um, if you built a smaller one, could you, could you, um, use less than that even. Um, there, there's a point at which uh, the, you know you can't deliver enough oil into, into a, a vaporizing pot for it to ignite it. You, you need a different system. If you're going really small you really have to spray the oil. Um, well that's my take on it anyway. I'm not saying that somebody couldn't do it but um, that's, that's been my experience as is. But it works really well. This is my first this one here, this is my first stove that I converted and uh, it's still sitting there from last year and uh, it's just, I don't know if you can see around the back, not really, I've had to do this in daylight. But there's a closer set, uh, look at the setup for the oil and the air. So for those who haven't um, seen it before, half inch gate valve, just a couple of fittings to get me onto malleable iron T. Um, so the oil drips down into this, goes down this half inch pipe and then into the burn chamber. The air comes up this uh, one inch pipe, doesn't get to blow up this pipe at all, um, and then in. And I can't, I'm already too hot at the stove. So the stove temperature is really, really coming up. So fantastic little project. Um, lots of people asking what I'm going to be doing next. Um, I might do a, a siphon nozzle setup with a, with a burner. Um, and I have a few other things in mind, so I, I would definitely will be doing things over the winter. And uh, well, there's my heat source for the shed, so I don't have to be, you know, cold doing it. 
Uh, this one's already made. But I mean, essentially, you could put that um, that burner unit. Uh, it could be put into nearly anything. You know, smaller cylinders, bigger cylinders, whatever. Um, you know, ammunition boxes, uh, cast iron stoves, whatever. They'll all emit heat, and uh, this thing wants to work. So if you give it enough air. Um, you can see it, there's no point in going outside now, I don't think you'll see the, 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 um, the chimney. Oh, we can try it. But, um, great little project. I was wondering it before, you know, I started all this stuff, would it work? Uh, I don't know what you can see. I can see the stack anyway, and there's, there's nothing there. Absolutely zero smoke. Yep, plenty of heat and no smoke. I mean, that's, uh... Yep, absolutely plenty of heat is right. I can feel it as soon as I step inside. Okay, so that's my door closed. Now, I was also asked um, how quickly it stops working once I close off the oil. So let's have a look. That's the oil off. Generally, I, I just said probably about 20 seconds, 30 seconds. So I, I, at this stage, I don't know. There's 10 seconds or so, I think, and it's still running. So I have quite a bit of oil in there. Uh, it's beginning to die down now, so. I'll just open this bottom door so you can see what's going on. And that's it, probably 30 seconds, something like that. And you can see that bottom chamber is red hot. Now that's in, in its working configuration. I've got cold air blowing into that now, just stop that. Okay, so I've switched off the fan, and it's just burning off whatever residue is in there. Um, but it's a great little project. Okay, so you can see the the, uh, the pot go from red to kind of dull red to whatever color it is now. The um, I don't know if you can see it. The fins on the diffuser that I made um, are still red hot. The rest of it, yeah, it's gone cold already because it doesn't take long for that pot to heat up. And consequently, it doesn't take long for it to cool down either. So that's the setup. Works really, really well. I don't really need to modify it. I'm just playing around at this stage. This thing works um, like I wanted it to. And uh, anyone else wants to try it, that's just one inch pipe. I have uh, quite a few videos on how to make the burner, how to make, even how to cut the propane tank. You know, if you want to end up with what I have here. Um, the, the glass chamber, the glass door on the bottom one, this thing here. I just wanted to see what was going on inside that pot. So I had a, um, a regulator, you know, a screw in kind of a damper that I could, you know, regulate the air going into it. And I took that off and I put this thing on temporary just so I could see what was going on in the, in the, um, in that bottom chamber. Um, so that glass will be coming off it again and I'll, I'll put that restrictor back on it. But a uh, very, very good, really good little setup. Um, and the little, um, I don't know if you'll see that, the little guys in there are still red hot. Uh, the flame starts, because it's burning off the solids, anything solid in the bottom of that, uh, anything else that the, the valve lets in, and uh, that is red hot. So there you go. You know, no ash, no muck, no mess, it just works. Um, I've had loads of, of uh, views and stuff, and I'm amazed by the amount of people who are interested in this. Um, I just thought I'd share what I was doing, and um, and I'm delighted with with the you know the way it's worked out. So thanks very much, all the subscribers and and all the viewers. Um, I, there will be more videos to follow, um, but if you like this one and want to see more videos, uh, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.